guys welcome to another edition of star wind aquariums so um the problem is right now phosphates uh phosphates is still high um off the hannah checker um so i just bought some phosphate e because well i'll do that for now even though i could have get i could have got the actual lanthium um chloride but it was going to kind of take a while to get it on Amazon because obviously Ace Hardware around my my um, house doesn't sell the stuff for some reason or any phosphate remover so I went with the phosphate E this dosed uh, about a cap and a half in there and that's about it says half a cap per um, 20 gallons so I would estimate without the rocks and the sand it's about 60 gallons of water total and I didn't want to shock these corals and if you read my story before that why these corals are crap because I bought it from a vendor and I'm still having a PayPal case on that so today we're gonna to talk about my return pump now I've had these for a year at least never cleaned it um, I can tell that it's not operating the same as it was before so there's always this contra controversy about the vinegar so recently or I've seen articles from 2012 saying the same thing that vinegar when you rinse it with vinegar it can do something with the magnets blah 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 and it won't work some people also use uh, citric acid I didn't want to buy citric acid because I already had something uh, meruric or acids never can pronounce that right but the acid and so right now I'm, I'm taking off one um, skimmer or wave maker and then I have it in there and I put it on a low intensity and this is this hot water and there's coralline algae on there I just don't want that stuff splashing on me then I'm gonna turn this one down with the controller turn the pump all the way to slow and push the speed all the way down so it won't be uh crazy so uh, taking off this crazy magnet and so because the, the pump oh uh oh uh oh uh oh baby all right so the pump is very um just messed up right now it's just covered in filth um if you can see this look at that this is gross and there's coralline algae i didn't want to kill but whatever uh you got to do what you got to do so i'm going to put that piece in there also and i have all my pieces and so i have my little brush in the corner and let's get busy <coughs> just keeping it in there for a while then you can just scrub it off um if it doesn't really erode off then you know to put more in there but I'm gonna probably leave it in there for the good uh, 10, 15 minutes as someone suggested. And if it doesn't erode it off right away, then you soak it. Alrighty, so after some time, about uh, 14 minutes actually, I can see that it looks a little bit cleaner, um, but then we just have to scrub it down. And so let me rinse it and see. And somebody actually told me to put bleach too, just to, for the polisher i'm not about to put it in at the same time of course but just to polish it off to kill any uh hair algae if anything's in there because i have have seen some type of gunk or hair, hair algae in there so i'm gonna do a little deep clean so hold your horses so as you can see it's a lot of different particles in there we scrubbed it with the brush and all kind of stuff started flaking off even the, the coralline and you know, I'm just not trying to polish it all the way. I can care less about the corn line, but I'm just trying to get that gunk out so the power heads can be uh, working as normal. So let me uh, finish doing this and we'll be right back. So after some scrubbing, you'll see like this stuff is black and look at all that that came from just scrubbing and that was 15 minutes of just keeping it uh, in there and just using a uh, straight up like, like I think this is a dish use this for the dishes and I bought this at like a Target or so so you can just scrub away and I can open it too I might have to do that to do some super deep cleaning inside 
make sure all that gunk's not in there, but I'm pretty sure this is mostly all the gunk inside the motor too. So let's continue. So after opening it, it's pretty uh, intense. I tried to do that and it was gooey right here where it looked like a lot of goo uh, accumulated, but the water is still somewhat cool. And I'm about to do this. Here is the blade. I uh, still see sludge and crap all on there, chato pieces, but we're about to get that right. So the second pump opened it, see how dirty it is, but the flow rate compared to when it was is like super, super. And the, just to turn this thing for the first time was hard, but once you get it, it's easy. It's no more of that grime there. I can actually feel the plastic. So it's all good, hot water and acid works. So mostly you see it looking like a albino, but most for the most part it's nice and clear. It looks newer than before, way newer because even though there's patches on there, either they'll grow, grow back or they'll die. But there is a little bit of black that I didn't see in the front part, but I'm pretty sure it's going to die off, so I'm not tripping. But thanks guys for watching. Peace out.